success isn't a matter of luck. It's about the right attitude, consistency, and good habits. And so today in this video, we're gonna explore seven habits of highly successful homeschoolers. So let's get to it. But before I forget, I'm Suen from the Homeschool Front blog, and this is my channel, Life in the Trenches, where I share all things about how you can have a relaxed homeschool. So the number one tip is planning ahead. And as someone who does not like to plan, I realize that you have to plan and planning ahead helps streamline your life and helps ease that stress that often happens when you have a chaotic morning or chaotic day. So if you put in the effort beforehand to take time to plan your homeschool year, like I do a big picture plan, so I don't go into details like some people because life never goes as planned when you do detailed plans, but I do have a big picture plan. And then every Sunday I will you know, kind of figure out what our week is like. And then the night before each homeschool day, I will kind of plan out what we're gonna, what we need to do that day just to make life a little bit easier. So when I wake up, I can see our plan and I know what we need to do without having to think too much, which is a bonus, especially in the morning when I'm groggy and just don't know what's going on. So number two is to stay consistent. And consistency is key. It's key to everything in life, being consistent. You don't have to have a rigid schedule because that is not fun, but instead you need to create a homeschool routine and you need to be consistent with that routine because kids like structure. They don't want like, you know, stiff structure, but a loose structure to help them navigate the day. And this helps provides a sense of security for your kids and ensures that learning is just kind of like a normal process of your everyday in homeschool because homeschool life is about learning is just interweaved into everything that we do. So the third habit is to be adaptable. And yes, being adaptable is a habit because some people are not adaptable. <laughs> and um, when things don't go as planned, they freak out. And if you can be adaptable and be flexible, your homeschool will be easy. So flexibility is the superpower of homeschooling. It's why many of us chose to homeschool. It's to be flexible. Not every plan works out and successful homeschoolers can easily adapt and easily pivot. And that can be anything from tweaking the curriculum or switching the learning environment because sometimes no one wants to be, you know, at the kitchen table. They'd rather be outside or on their bed or on the couch or even on the floor. <laughs> and then also finding new ways to explain like complex topics or, you know, if your kids aren't getting it, maybe you need to quickly find a video and show them that video where someone else explains it so much better. So remember, adaptability is the name of the game. And next is to foster a love of learning. Successful homeschoolers don't just teach, they inspire a love of learning. They put in the work to make homeschooling fun and relevant. So, you know, this might mean like taking a math lesson and turning it into a baking project or a history lesson and going out on a field trip. So remember, when you're excited about teaching and kids are excited about learning, then the sky's the limit. The next habit is making connections with other people. Homeschooling can be very isolating, especially if you live somewhere where there's not a lot of homeschoolers or you live in an area where it's true, it happens where homeschool groups can be very clicky. Make it an effort to actively engage and be consistent about that engagement. Uh, make it a habit to connect with other homeschoolers, whether it's in person or online, or maybe through educational programs. Like I've connected with a lot of homeschoolers through my son's classes. And that's an easy way for us to meet. And my son makes friends first, and then I make friends with their moms. <laughs> And I find that to be a lot easier than me making friends with the moms and then trying to get the kids to mesh and then that just doesn't work out all the time. And then the next is to encourage independence. And we have to remember that our kids are gonna grow up and leave the house. <laughs> we have to remember that. So often we feel like we need to control every aspect of their lives and that they're just gonna be with us all the time and that's not, that's not the case. Our job is to prepare our kids to become functional, happy adults. And we can't do that if we're not encouraging independence. So empowering our children to take charge of their own education is a key habit of a successful homeschooler. So this might mean when you're homeschool planning, you get them involved. It might mean allowing them to choose their own topics to study or setting their own study pace instead of following the scope and sequence that the curriculum that you're using suggests. 
it could also be them creating their own projects where you don't do the planning. They do all the steps. You just gotta let go and let them do it. And when we do this, we're helping our kids become confident, have initiative and a sense of responsibility. And those are all vital aspects in being a successful and happy adult. And then finally is to practice patience. Like we need to be patient with our kids. Our kids are learning at their own pace. Everyone is unique. Everyone's learning, everyone's interests, it's all unique and their pace is unique and we can't like force them to follow the scope and sequence. We can't force them to follow our plan. We have to be patient. Successful homeschoolers know to be patient with their kids and they know that progress is more important than perfection. And they also celebrate small victories and see mistakes as an opportunity for growth. So embracing these seven habits aren't gonna guarantee an easy journey because you have humans involved and <laughs> emotions involved. So nothing is easy, but it can be simple and it can be mostly enjoyable. So remember, if you nurture these habits in yourself and in your kids, you're not only teaching academics, you're also teaching life skills that will help shape them into being well-rounded individuals. So remember, keep it simple, keep it fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao. Now, 